Hi, I'm Aurin and today I want to build the Bastard KB Skeletool. It's a split keyboard with 36 keys. As you may saw in other videos, I am using the corn keyboard. So it looks like this. Um, I angled it or like tilted it. Um, it is wireless and yeah, I printed myself a little honeycomb uh, case and also for traveling I use it quite a lot and I, I really love it. But I want to learn the Miyoku keyboard layout. It has six layers and it's, yeah, it's designed for 36 keys. So I really want to build a new keyboard um, because I'm using the corn quite often wired. I also want to make this wired um, in a second step, maybe wireless. And the whole idea is to build this a bit more, um, yeah, a bit more ergonomic one for the thumbs because the corn is a bit unergonomic on the thumbs way. For me, at least, I saw the skeletal keyboard and really want to build it. And the whole idea is to build it under 50 euros or roughly 50 euros to make it a quite cheap build. For that, I ordered the uh, Akko, Akko Cream Blue switches. Uh, it was like 18 euros or something. So here we have 45 switches of these. Also, I got myself these blank keycaps, dark blue blank keycaps, some cables, um, and very important, the microcontroller. It's a pro micro clone, and it was like seven euros per piece. So we have two of these. What else? Um, ah, yeah, the diodes. So I bought like a pack of these diodes also five euros three euros i don't know uh, i will link all the parts down in the comments it's quite cheap and the whole idea is to hand wire it to keep the costs very low um, so join me during the hand wiring i will now start putting everything together hand wire it um, start with the programming and hopefully today having a running keyboard with <laughs> The files uh, for the keyboard or the, the, the case is downloadable from uh, GitHub. Also, we'll link it down in the comments. And I printed it. It took me like five attempts or something because in the first attempt, uh, let me show you. My first attempt was to print it with a layer height of two millimeters. And it looks like this. And then I sanded it down, uh, filled the gaps, sanded it again, then spray painted it and it took me maybe two days or something and in the end to be honest it looks shit it just doesn't look nice the you still see the layers in some parts uh, you see the little inaccuracies from the uh, grinding and i paid like 20 euros for the parts of the grinding so definitely not worth it afterwards i just printed it as recommended I should have read the comments better. 0.15 millimeter layer height, and it looks quite nice. It actually, I assume when you put it together, you don't see these inaccuracies anymore anyway. So I will just put it together with this layer height. Also a colleague of mine sent me the six keys layer version. It looks also really nice, uh, the six coals version, and also with the, um, PCBs, so I probably will build two of them just to have both working and because it is fun building keyboards. I mean, it's all right, like overrated as f in my opinion. I mean, so stick with me with the uh, five coal version and let's build it together and see how it looks in the end. Okay, so here we are two weeks later. So I thought, how hard can it be to handwire a keyboard and um, yeah, program it? Yeah, it, it, it was hard. The, the hard part was not really like the hand wiring. This was quite easy and fast. So it was not, not fast, it was just easy. It, it took some time, but it was easy. Uh, second half of the keyboard took me maybe two hours to solder together. So when I had figured out how to solder it, it was quite quick. What was really hard was to program the keyboard, the Mirioku key bindings, and this took me quite some time to figure out. Uh, they basically offer everything when you use an existing keyboard and an existing uh, wiring diagram, so then it's super easy. So you just need to select all the boards and have the software ready to use. In my case, since I use ZMK hand wired, it 
took some time to figure out. So basically I found a repo where someone basically copied over all the key bindings and then I could yeah, copy his config and adapt it to my pinout. This is it. It's not 100% yet ready yet. As you can see here, uh, the uh, on off switch is sticking out a bit. This is just because I did not get the um, click switch in time. So what I want to do is a switch that fits basically the TERS jack that you can flip on and off. So this one will be replaced and the um, inlay is also not glued on yet because uh, therefore I printed myself a little plastic cap where I will glue on the microcontroller and then screw it in. What I also did is using a big 18650 battery. So I soldered a battery management system, so one of these, uh, onto the battery. So you can charge it and discharge it directly with the Nice Nano or the microcontroller in this case. And the on off switch basically just interrupts the um, plus cable. Whenever I have the right switch, I will open it up again, glue everything in place. And also I designed myself a little standoff. Uh, this one here, it's a bit to angle it more and also to fit in the big battery. Now it's like loose a bit, but I will glue it in as soon as I have the right switch in place. But all in all, I'm quite happy with the result. What is missing now is the little bumper here. So there I will again, as you maybe saw in my corn video, glue in a little ring ball to have it in place. And then I basically need to train my skills to type on Miryoku um, and be fast as on the corn, because I think this is a quite nice build. Uh, with the big battery, I also assume it will hold up for quite some time. Um, it's quite heavy with the battery, um, but it feels really good. So when you uh, angle it, it feels quite well. The key switches are also amazing. So as you can hear, it is quite amazing from the typing. It, it clicks well. And yeah, it was a nice build. It cost me roughly 50 euros, the whole thing. So I will list down the parts in the comments and also the prices. So it's a super cheap wireless build if you want to create a split keyboard wireless. Highly recommend building it yourself. And the tolerance of frustration is a bit high on that. Yeah, one thing that's super important, buy at least three of the microcontrollers because one of mine was broken. It set me back for at least one week because I had to order another one to get it fixed. And another thing that is also important, you will see like a pop up when you copy over the software on the nice Nano, it will say, oh, I could not copy it over br some errors, but it was copied over. So for me, this took like, I don't know, two hours or something of my life. It's quite an amazing keyboard. So thank you for designing it to the guy from Busted KB. It's very cool. I learned quite a lot about keyboards and I learned uh, about how they work and how to program them. And yeah, let me know down in the comments if you have any interest in it. Um, as said, the GitHub repository with the keyboard layout will be in there. The um, parts to order everything is in there and the printing parts as well. Ah, and also one thing that took me quite some time to figure out, if you run it on battery and turn it on, there's no LED blinking or something. And I thought it is not on, my battery is broken, something is broken. No, there's just no battery on. So there are a few things that you can figure out yourself, but maybe it helps you to learn from my mistakes. Um, and yeah, other than that, Thanks for watching, uh, happy coding, see you next time. And as said, if you have any interest in the keyboard, let me know down in the comments if you have any interest in other videos. Also happy to provide them and see you soon.